Chicago police investigated jewel heist at the Ford City Mall. And WGN Sean Lewis has reaction now from the southwest side. Well, good evening. This happened very early this morning, just before 430. Chicago police saying that one person broke through two different glass doors of the J.C. Penney store, targeting one specific department. As workers replaced the glass on the outside door of the J.C. Penney at Ford City Mall, Chicago detectives inside focused in on two shattered jewelry cases. This heist took place very early Monday morning. That's not good. That's not good to hear. While initial reports put the value of the merchandise stolen at upwards of $200,000, Chicago police detectives are remaining tight-lipped as they search for the person who did this. That's what they do around Fort City at night. They break in stuff. Most people we talked with today were not surprised, and they were not happy. Whoever done that, y'all bullied, man. You know, people got their own biz, you know. Make your own money, you know. I drove past here today and I saw that the doors were broken, so I figured somebody had broken in. I mean, it's, it's happening everywhere. It's not just here, it's everywhere. In fact, over the past two weeks, Chicago police have sent out crime alerts of thieves targeting multiple businesses. For years, Ford City Mall at 76 and Cicero has been in decline. J.C. Penney remains as one of the only anchor stores left. If it happens again, they could just say, you know, that's it. We're going to shut the doors just like a lot of the other businesses have. Some fear that even a small break in like this morning's could mean just that. Might come and close it just because of the, how it's getting. People are going to lose jobs. It's going to affect a lot of people. There's a lot of cl places closing here. Pretty soon there's gonna, not, not going to be a Ford City. And we did reach out to J.C. Penny for comments about this, any statement they might have, and we have yet to hear back. Area 1 police detectives from CPD working on this case. If you happen to have any information that could help them out, you should give them a call or you can report it anonymously at cpdtip.com. Outside of Ford City Mall today, Sean Lewis, WGN News.